Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is finally rolling out Chrome version 115 now to the general public, which is now our next stable release, which they made available on the 18th of July, which was once again late yesterday in my region. Now, over and above the all-important security fixes that have rolled out with version 115, um, version 115 does not come with many new features. There's not any and no new front-facing features, so to speak, um, that have rolled out by default, and I'm not noticing any of the Chrome UR 2023 visual changes that have made their way through in this release at this stage. And although most of the changes with default features rolling out are taking place under the hood, as we would say, and there are one or two experimental flags that can now be enabled in version 115, which will bring um, some new features that aren't default, but you can enable them using those flags, which we'll take a look at a little bit later. Now, first of all, um, because we are dealing with important security fixes that have rolled out, and because this is a major version upgrade, to double check if you have this latest release, as always, we head to the main menu, help, about Google Chrome, and the latest version and build now, as mentioned, version 115.0.5790.99 and depending on your os be that mac linux or windows that point release should either be 98 or 99 so either or you will be upgraded and have the latest release with version 115. now this update does include 20 important security fixes and that's to address 20 vulnerabilities and out of those 20 security vulnerabilities that have been fixed with this latest version upgrade four of those are high risk vulnerabilities which as many of you will know by now is your second highest after a critical and those four high risk vulnerabilities are use after free there's two use after free uh, there's a use after free in tab groups use after free in web rtc and we've get an out of bounds memory access in mojo so Although there are no zero days or exploits that have been exploited in the wild, we do get 20 security fixes and four of those security issues that have been addressed are high risk vulnerabilities. So just double check your browsers up to date because it is your first line of defense, as many of you will know. Now, with all the security um, side of things out of the way, um, just to do a couple of quick mentions before we have a look at the experimental flags that have been made available with this upgrade. Now, although there are no new features, there is a primary change and a key highlight with this update where um, version 115 now supports and carries support for Topics APR, which basically at the end of the day will replace cross-site tracking cookies. And that's just a privacy, um, a bit of a privacy increase when it comes to replacing uh, cross-site tracking cookies, as many of you may know. And something else just to do a quick mention of um, before we have a look at those flags, um, with version 115 now, the browser will automatically upgrade HTTP, which is a less secure, older kind of connection and web page and website to HTTPS whenever possible. So starting with version 115, the browser now will always attempt to upgrade HTTP requests to HTTPS whenever that is possible. So that's just a bit of a more secure connection and a bit of a security increase, which I think is a nice move in the right direction because there are a few less secure HTTP sites that are still out there. So as mentioned, um, it will automatically now, whenever possible, upgrade you to a more secure HTTPS connection. Now guys, that's more or less what's new with default features that has rolled out with version 115. Now, if you want to stick around and would like to enable one or two experimental features which have now become available, then I think the key um, mention here would be, and the key feature would be that Microsoft's mark material is now available behind an experimental flag, which basically um, Microsoft describes as an opaque dynamic material. And what it does is it adds the theme and desktop wallpaper color to the background of the title bar of Chrome. Now this is rolling out behind an experimental flag only for Windows 11 users. You cannot get marker on Windows 10. It's for Windows 11 users. So if you want to enable this um, flag, as always, we head to the Omnibox and we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and this takes us over to the experimental flags page now something else you need to do is just in the search just enter marker that's enough to bring up the relevant flag and here we go it's called windows 11 marker title bar the description for the flag reads use the dwm system drawn marker title bar on windows 11 version 22 h2 build 261 and above so just take note you need to be running that version and build of Windows 11 for this to take place. 
then we change the default to enabled and then we'll have to relaunch the stable version now version 115 of google chrome now something else to take note of if you are using marker you will not see it with a theme uh, applied so as an example you can see i've chosen a very bright wallpaper and you'll see nothing happens if you have a theme that's been chosen or applied in the browser so what we need to do is we need to go back and just for the purpose of today's video i'm going to change the theme to classic chrome which will bring a bit of a difference and there already we can see that marker effect now in the actual title bar at the top and something else you can try is you can actually change your windows theme if you're running in dark to light and you'll see now that it becomes a lot more visible so there we can see as i move my google chrome web browser around it's picking up that um, color from the desktop background as mentioned and opaque dynamic material and adds the theme and desktop wallpaper color to the background of the title bar of chrome so as i move it around you can see it takes on the color of the actual um the desktop to some extent or the other and that's called the mark material which you now can enable using that experimental flag in version 115 and because it's hidden behind an experimental flag now there's a good chance that this could become it may be in our next version upgrade to 116 this could become a default feature and then something else to take note of is something else um you can enable which i did mention with the early stable release video i did post a week ago is you can now enable the new reading mode so just type in reading and here we go reading mode and what it says for the description of this flag enables the reading mode feature which generates a reader friendly view of web pages open the site panel and select reading mode to try the feature so we're going to change that from default to enabled we're going to relaunch uh, google chrome version 115 again to apply that flag and now if we head back to our site panel you will see now that there is a new reading mode and what reading mode will do as an example if i just enter wiki just to show you um, an example of an article of the day as an example there we go you can see reading mode once it's uh, applied in the site panel just gives you a bit of a distraction free reading experience so it gets rid of all the clutter and there we go you've got a, um, a, quite a, a bit of a more minimal reading experience where it gets rid of um, all the different uh, pictures and advertisements and so on and it just gives you a decluttered reading mode with a simplistic view which i think is also another um, move in the right direction and yeah you can change the font you can um, decrease the font size you can increase that font size you can change the theme uh, you can um, you can change the the uh, line height from loose to very loose as an example you can put it back to the standard so that's the line height the same applies to your letter spacing you can change that from standard wide to very wide so you get the idea and that's the new reading mode also hidden behind an experimental flag so as mentioned um the default features that are rolling out as mentioned are more or less taking place under the hood we get some new features for developers that won't really be of interest to your average home user and then over and above those all important security fixes we get these two new experimental flags enabling the marker effect in the title bar and then bring in reading mode so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one